I just want to unpack real quick uh, outfits for like basically the days and also pictures and things like that because y'all know how it rolls, charge equipment, and then we're going to start the day and I'm going to break down to you guys what we're doing. Welcome to Photo Dani. I have changed because it's my birthday week. Oh, let me show you outfit of the day. I am wearing a bikini from Bikini World, and this skirt is from a Kenyan designer, Native Woman. I'll put all the information down below. It is my birthday. Okay, so where we are, we're at Fototani. It is a five bedroom house that can take up to two people per room, so 10 people. And what I'm gonna be doing during the course of the, this vlog is breaking down to you guys how much it actually costs to have like a dope week, weekend in Lamu. Yes, the prices are gonna be higher to some people, lower to some people, it is what it is. Um, but it's just to give you like a general gist of everything, so. Now let me give you a tour of the house. Jackie's making me one. I make the best oysters. When, when, nice. when How do you make a best oyster? When Babe, work, yeah. when work, <laughs> go with the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, lime. Yeah, Number two, <laughs> tabo. Oh yeah, there's some tabo over there. Mm. I need it in my life. Tabo is the best. Yeah. And then... Hello? Oyster mix it up in there so it's nice and free. Why is it yummy. so gooey? 
Oh, I don't like when Joki did it. She made it gooey. Stop it. No, I Fabulous. Didn't. Tell me that does not look like snot. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, D'Angelo. I hate oysters. Can I have some water before, just in case I have to like, gag? Oh, yes. I got one that looks so much like a snail. <laughs> Okay, there are other things that are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was nice. It was nice with the tabasco. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do me another one. Ah, uh, bitch, now tell them to put for your appellation. Oh, I don't know how to make it. Like I'll eat yours? Yeah. Okay, so another outfit change because I'm going to be extra through this entire trip. These are one of my kaftans from the collection that I sold on the low. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're getting ready to go on a dowel. See what you want to say. I'll be right here. I'll wait. You know I'll wait. Just switched into something that's a little bit more comfortable for swimming. This is from Shelly Shell Shell Addicts Shell Antics. Something that's gonna be down below. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. All right, let's go. Sometimes I wanna give all of me. Sometimes I wanna scream. Oh my God, you got me. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. Don't know why, but in Lamu I can't sleep past like 7. I woke up naturally at freaking 6 a.m. I love this place so much. The sun is about to rise. Okay, while it's doing that little thing through the clouds, um, I have just put out what I really want to shoot today. Do you see this beautiful Dija? Virak. <laughs> you see how beautiful this is? And you see this one? Ooh. I'll show you once it's on. It is a bridal dira. A Somali bridal dira. They were sent to me by Fahma Nali. I might be mispronouncing it, but right here. She has the most beautiful bridal gowns, especially for. Um, Muslim or Somali weddings and those ones she sent me pictures and I was just like these are one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen and what I loved so much about them is that they were not just like a white ball gun it's a dira it's a dira you know what I'm saying and it's one of those things that you could easily rock any time of the year you can go for dinner in it you can get married in it if you want it's so beautiful. I can't wait to put it up. Ooh, 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 the pictures are gonna be fire. Ooh, let me set up my camera because the sun is coming up. So much trouble now, now. Sometimes I just wanna tell you to stop so you don't go and break my. All right, so here is the dress. It goes all the way, I'll show you in a second. It goes all the way down to the ground, like it's long. I'm gonna show you how I'm wearing it. Um, it comes with a belt, and I didn't want, like, I just love 
like the just sheer good desi vibes out of it so i don't want to cinch in the waist at all whoops let me show you the scarf so i'm wearing it with this wig obviously because it's a scarf that i physically cannot or is it considered a veil like it's for the head that i physically cannot get on my head and keep it there because see now my dread is so i should do this with the wig and these clips from beauty galore Usually this is a skirt that goes underneath, but imagine I can't, like with this weather, I can't. Like it's so hot. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Okay, me, I'd, I imagine me I'd get married in this. I'd go to dinner with this. I'd go to a gala, go to the Met. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. It looks so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yes. I'll put the information down below. I'm so confused, babe. I just don't know. So now I gotta make. So Dan is helping me. Oh God, this veil. Dan is helping me. It's too heavy. I can't do this by myself now. But I've set up the camera. He's just pressing the button. That is it. My cat Queen. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. One. You know you're my vlog. Yeah, it's okay. I'm wearing a boxer. Oh! Uh, <laughs> he wasn't earlier. <laughs> we are adults. <laughs> are we though? He looked like a toddler walking around. You could just see his butt cheeks. <laughs> it's that heavy. Yeah. Oh my god. I actually need help getting it off. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you do like like squats. <laughs> I'm so hot. I took a shower I'm fresh uh, we are right now getting ready for dinner I just want to show you guys something real quick oh I'm wearing the same swimsuit from yesterday I wanted to take a photo of it I want to introduce you to the staff I'm here with Sarah Hello. so they're the amazing people keeping everything running food wise so he's completing tonight's dinner so these are uh, chicken spring rolls. Chicken spring rolls. Yeah, we have uh, ginger crab swahili stay. Nice. And this is a uh, coconut uh, coconut rice. Nice. We have uh, stuff fried vegetables. Perfect. We have some chapatis. Nice. And then these are from lunch leftovers, so we're gonna turn them into masalas. Masala chips. Yes. Oh, and there's dessert. Hey, Mr. Big Man. This is a chocolate tart. Nice. Thank you so much. Nice. So excited. Oh, and also, I just want to show you guys this. So at the end of each day, they have a complete itemized um, list of everything that they've bought, made, and then at the end they have a total, so you just pay it per day. So this was a full day's meal. So this was, because we came in late, so this is lunch, snacks. Yeah. dinner and breakfast yes. so this is because we ate lunch um yes. from outside uh dinner, this is um, dinner breakfast dessert yeah. 
There we go. The men. Whoa. Thank you. Good night. We have new people. Good morning. It is photo shoot time, obviously. Um, these are from Beauty Galore. This top is from Studio White that I twisted up. Let me just show you. And then pants from Itikadi. Uh, another outfit. Uh, this is just a sheer dress from Fleek London. It's this outfit, but instead of the underneath black dress, I've just thrown on a black bikini. And it's a look. Whoa. Beachy vibes, but also gives me Dolce & Gabbana circa, was it like 2010 or nine? Always loved that time. Okay, so. We're taking a photo on the pier, and he is helping because I could not do that by myself. <laughs> You guys can't actually see this, but just uh, believe me when I say like it's raining. Are you well, it's drizzling. Everybody's connected. So it is raining, and we have docked on the floating bar. It's Akidogo local. We left back there. Okay, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. Let me show you the boat. If you think I'm lying, this is our boat that's being rained on ever so beautifully. Hi. Oh my gosh. So silent treatment in your car. Baby, we don't need to talk. Sorry if I'm making this hard. I'm just wondering where we are. I don't wanna face the consequences. But baby, yeah, you know I hate second guessing. I'm just wondering where we are. Drifting into space, keep driving on the freeway. I love it here. 
So the usual, I'm about to do a morning shoot. Um, I just enjoy doing them and I love pretty things with pretty outfits and backdrop. It's just so nice here. Anyway, so what happened yesterday with the boat ride? The original plan was was supposed to be picked up. We go oyster farming, oyster something, and then we like eat the oysters and we have like an amazing lunch on the boat where they make the food and everything and then just like float on the Dow for a few hours. But then it rained. So bad. Hence why we ended up at that bar, um, the floating bar, and then we just came back home and it was pretty chill so I didn't really vlog much. So what we're doing today is uh, to make up for what we lost yesterday because of the rain. Uh, we're just going to be doing a sunset dow and then we're also going to Old Town. I want to go get some silver rings from the silversmith. I always get them every time I come here because I always lose rings. Me, I'm not a responsible adult, but they're such good quality. They're amazing. Um, so I just need to go restock as per usual. Uh, probably gonna have lunch there and then dow ride and the whole shebang. It's gonna be so lovely. Ooh, this is actually really cute. This bikini is really cute with these earrings. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, fun story. <laughs> it's not really fun. But I have been so weirdly bloated this entire trip, like incredibly. And now I am not. So I am excited. I'm feeling comfortable. Finally. So there's also that. So with that said, bikini season is back. I've been wearing onesies like full suits this entire time because of just the bloatation of the situation. Now we're back, baby. Is that my little princess Consuela? <laughs> my little princess Consuela. Good morning. <laughs> I cleaned the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Heading to Old Town. So we're at Lamu House, we're having a quick, I don't know, some people are going to have lunch, some people are just going to have a drink. And some people. I'm just going to show y'all my new <laughs> bling. Wait, Papa, show us your bling. I don't have any more. That's, that's on that. That's, that's on period. We're going to really <laughs> How was that? How was that, Fanta? Has it just slapped you? Let's do it together, let's do it together. Ooh, baby, it's like the world 
Okay, we are back. We're about to go for the Dow in about 30 minutes. <sighs> and just real quick, I'm putting clothes away. This is a fun thing about when you unpack everything. It's set up to where, after you wear it, you pack it back in the suitcase. And Going for a walk. Are you recording me? Are you recording me? Are you recording me? Okay, so we're going for a quick walk. And I can't continue shooting because audio is when anything's windy. Nothing can bring me down tonight. And ooh, baby, when we're together, you and I, your touch sends chills down my spine. Something so hilarious. This yes, boat has like the best. Chin chin. Wow, chin chin. It is literally just a random. Chin chin. What do you call this thing? Sail. A sail. Sail. It's a random sail that has happy wedding on it. But we've decided that all of us, we're all individually putting this video with our, our hands like because this. I'm married and then, to the streets. <laughs> and then panning up to that. It's a prank. Is a prank, bro. Is a prank, bro. Those guys look good. Those guys look good. They will dapper. There's a couple who are beautiful. Yes. They are a sexy ass couple, and they are just having the best time of their lives. The best life. And I will not put them on camera because you don't know people's actual lives. One of them might be married. <laughs> People would travel far and wide just to see how your halo shines so bright. Ooh, baby, did you fall from paradise? Wherever we go, I'm on cloud nine, so high. majority of everybody else is going to sleep but the stragglers lucky dogo fatties hey so we have some squid we have some crab fries squid salad it's going to be delicious it's going to be yummy okay kanyau kanyau hi it is our last morning here in the sun I'm basically packed. Oh, this is what I was saying yesterday post was cut short. Uh, the reason why I unpack everything is just so that during the course of a trip, as you wear stuff, you just put the dirty clothes back in the suitcase. And then by the last day, you're basically packed. 
that extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of unpacking saves you so much time at the end. Try it. Try it. Good morning, sunshine. Morning. Excuse me, I'd like to do a photo shoot. Excuse me. You're in my way, buddy. Okay. Ah, last day. I'm so sad to go. I hope this video made sense. I don't know. I was just kind of just shooting as we go. Um, which is a little disorganized, but it is what it is. So, number one, anything that has to do with the rings, the silversmith, I'll put his information down below. So if you're in Lamu, come through, come one, come all, get them. Um, yeah. And I guess, the, yeah, through the video, I've just been doing the cha-ching, showing you guys how much things cost. So what I'm going to do is when I get home, I'm going to just do a list of everything and then just sum up how much we've spent per person and then we can just you know you can use that information however you like but just quick thing when it comes to Furudani can make this breakfast I'm so excited um, when it comes to Furudani so usually it is 55k a night um, that's an average it goes up and down depending on season so for example if it's Christmas New Year's it goes up to 125,000 or is it 105 125,000 a night um so it's just a, about an average of 55k but for right now they're doing a discounted rate for you guys um if you book your trip like you don't have to actually okay so if you book your trip between this month of september and next month the month of october 2020 they're giving a 20 percent discount on your stay if you book let's say mid-october and you wanted to come february or march of next year you are fine you're gonna get the 20 percent off uh you're gonna get the 20 percent discount off the rate it's amazing um as you've noticed the biggest thing that we did was make sure that we filled the house because it takes up to 10 people and everybody was paying for their own thing so it actually does cut down your cost quite a lot when you travel with a lot of people and getting a whole house versus just staying in a hotel room type of thing so we will split the cost per night um yeah fabulous so let's just enjoy the last few hours that we have here some sun some wind i want to move here so bad it's so pretty i can't stand it uh yeah let's go find the people see my hey papa hey i went skinny dipping in the ocean <laughs> <laughs> who are you who raised you Shawty a little fatty in my little blue thing Shawty I got the to go we <laughs> thank you so much thank you you guys ready to go home no good class <laughs> hi back in nairobi obviously i am editing the vlog as we speak that you guys are watching and i'm right on schedule thank the lord um so let's break down the prices so number one okay outside of the prices we missed our flight don't miss your flight don't get comfortable Lama always does that to us we always get comfortable because we're like when was gonna catch us traffic because there's no roads it's only water between the airport and the house you can miss the flight we missed the flight back 
Now let's break down the prices, shall we? Number one, flights. We use Skyward, and for a round trip ticket, it was thirteen thousand four hundred per person, and we all booked at the same time. Um, accommodation. Accommodation was forty four thousand Kenya shillings. By the way, all of this is in Kenya shillings. In case you're not from here, just convert Kenya shillings to euros, pounds, dollars, whatever. Naira. Live your life. Um, yeah. So accommodation was forty four thousand Kenya shillings per night. Uh, usually it is 55,000, but then there was a 20% discount, so hence 44, which would. And again, the way that works is if you book your stay between this month of September and next month, the month of October, we're basically in October right now, you can get your discount. So again, if you book for next year in July, but as long as you book in October, you'll get that discount. So we end up spending around 4,400 Kenya shillings per person per night, which made the entire stay 17,600 per person. The second DAO was supposed to have a DAO ride with a cruise vibe, and then they cook on the boat and we eat on the boat, and that's usually 2,500 per person. But if you just get a DAO, cruise like just the sunset dow ride by itself that is actually six thousand for the entire boat so if you divide it by 10 people that's 600 so if you want to do that in the future or if you want to try it um and you want to find a way to save money that's a more cheaper uh, more affordable way to go because if you just do that and then bring in food from outside whether it's bajias from one of the um restaurants or from the house live your life someone says it's a great option but with that said, if you can at least try the Dao ride with the cooking and the fishing and the whole bit, highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly. I always do it when I go there. It's so much fun. This time it just didn't work out because of the rain, hence why we had another Sunset Dao ride, which came as a complimentary thing because the first time just didn't work out. Um, again, because of the rain. So they just gave us a Sunset thing to make up for what was lost. What else? Um, the day when we went to Old Town, we went to Old Town, we had to take a boat from the house to Old Town. Um, we had a tour guide who took us to the silversmith, been there like <laughs> five, six times, still could never figure out how to get there. I don't know why, my brain has just refused. So we had a tour guide to at least get us to, um, the silversmith and then take us to lunch and then back to the boat and back home and that one was 500 per person um for the silversmith it, it depends on what pieces you get my rings were around 700 per ring and then when i tell you those rings last they last oh food when you eat food at the house is 2000 shillings per day per person so if it's 10 people is 20,000 and those guys are so trustworthy so if they find themselves in a situation where they overbought food they will continue to use that food until it's finished and then you'll just find your bill to be like 11k one day and then less another day but just approximate around 2,000 Kenya shillings per day per person for food to eat in the house you can also eat outside the house and you know that just depends on where you're eating Magilis, Peponi, they're a little bit more expensive. So you just, you know, when you show up at the restaurant, you just, you just learn. You know what's up. But they're great. Highly recommend Peponi, by the way. Who's calling me? Sorry, I had to reply to an email and book some stuff. Okay. So, total we spent each per person around 42500 And the reason why I'm saying around 42500 is because it was more. Um, things like drinks... Like, you know what I'm saying. Um, of course, brought up the price. We ate out here and there. Restaurant stuff costs more. Um, so, yeah. But standard price for what we did was 42500 Accommodation, flights, eating, um, dows, and things like that. Normally, I would do snorkeling and things like that but the weather just did not permit it well actually not the weather right now Lamu's in the process of um the the ocean not getting as mucky as it is normally if you go during the right time of year um like february march april that water when i tell you it is crystal clear like you can see to the bottom bottom Woo! it's the bestest but right now, just it's, it's a natural thing. It just happens there. Oh, one last thing. 
I know some of you guys will notice that we were not wearing masks throughout the entire trip in Old Town. We tried for the first hour. The sweat that was literally stuck in between our masks, like drip, like it was so, like not uncomfortable, like it was, oh, like uncomfortable makes it sound really sweet. Like it wasn't uncomfortable, like it was just the worst. And it was, again, it was just the worst. Like we genuinely tried, um, we tried to avoid being around people without masks. The only time I think was when I, when we were in the silversmith, when we were in his store and it was hotter in there than it was outside. And we were the only ones in there except for him. And he was very comfortable being around us without a mask. And I was just like, are you sure? And he said, yeah. And I was like, okay, well we tried. It was hot. I'm so sorry. It was, ew, the struggle was real. Um, that's why you should get a house so that you can just all be quarantined by yourselves together. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's vlog, which is actually going to be a vlog from two weeks ago. Didn't finish editing. Long story. See you then.